Hi guys, welcome to my new YouTube channel. So I've been toying with the idea of doing YouTube videos for a while. I do quite a lot of Instagram stories so I thought it would be nice to try and put a YouTube video together for if you want to try and recreate what we're doing or just have a look at some of our videos and what we get up to. So today I'm starting a new project so I thought it would be a good time to start with a fresh YouTube video. So I'm going to be putting a new seed starting bench together. So I've actually just started behind me. I've got some new aluminium staging that I put up this week and what we're going to be doing is experimenting with soil blocks. I've been trying to use soil blocks for a couple of years now and I think they're such a good idea for reducing plastic waste but unfortunately I've never quite got on with them and I think that's my fault because I need to make sure that they are kept nice and moist at all times. That is the problem that I've been having that they dry out too quickly. So I'm going to be putting um, a board down to start with then the a heat mat and then the capillary matting and then I'm going to be using these good old mushroom trays to start our soil blocks off into. So the soil blocks in theory should have contact with the capillary matting through the mesh bottom in this um, mushroom crate. Here's my new staging, I'll put a link down below to where I got it from. It was just from a website called Greenhouses R Us. And then I've got this capillary matting that I just got from eBay and you can it's really good because you can buy it in the widths and lengths that you want. So I got this 1.2 because it is going to fit quite nicely in these other trays that I had made. So I'm going to have to cut it down a bit for the, this staging so I'll do that now. I have a Amazon shop front so I'm going to try and put these things in my Amazon shop front and you can shop those items or you can shop around um, I get a little bit commission from them which is a nice little added bonus but have feel free to look on eBay or any other of the shops where you can sometimes find things a little bit cheaper what I've got here is my potting tray so I'm going to be mixing the soil block mix in this tray and I've got some coir in here, if you can see. That is just from eBay. And I've got some perlite down here and some compost in my wheelbarrow. So that is the soil block mix. So when we're making the soil blocks, we're using this, these soil blockers. I can't find these on Amazon, but I will try and find a link to the website where you can buy those. The other thing that I just wanted to mention is that it is currently the 30th of January so we're not actually going to be sowing any seeds at the moment but this is kind of going to be like a dry run so I'm going to be making the soil blocks up in the mushroom crates and turning the heating on and wetting our capillary matting and I'm just going to see how the soil blocks go for a couple of weeks before we start seeding into them because there's nothing worse than wasting seeds. Uh, I've got the capillary matting down on the staging. I've put some plain white plastic down underneath it just so that the water doesn't drip down through the bars on the staging and put the capillary matting on top and it's all wet now and I haven't just put the heat mat in yet because I've had it rolled up since last winter um, so it's all rolled up and so I'm, I've just got it down on the floor there uh, with some weights on it to try and flatten it out. Once that's flattened out I'm going to put it back on the beds um, ready to start um, experimenting with these soil blocks. So the next thing that I have to do is make some soil blocks. The recipe that we're using is three parts compost three parts coir, one part perlite. I'm just gonna get mixing that and then I'll show you the consistency that we're looking for.
So as you can see, I've created quite a sticky looking mixture. And the way I tell whether it's ready or not is by um, actually trying to make a soil block. So get your soil blocker contraption right in there. And if the soil sticks inside the blocks, then you've got a nice consistency. So I like to fill it up and then make a clear surface on the bottom just to flatten it off on. Oh look, I've got a couple out there. I'm trying to do it with one hand so it's not too easy to do, but I think we've got about the right amount of water in that mix. So my mixture's ready and I'm going to start making the soil blocks and putting them into this tray. I want to pack the, it in nice and firm. Make sure it's nice and flat on the bottom. And then pull the trigger and squeeze and then we've got a nice little block of soil blocks with indentations in the top for the seeds. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish filling up this tray. So the camera battery just died midway through that last video but you get the idea of making soil blocks. I just need to maybe have a little jig around with how they are positioned inside the tray because there is a lot of space being wasted around here and um, maybe this sort of orientation is going to be better but we've got them on the map and I'm hoping that the soil blocks are making enough contact with the wet capillary matting. I'm going to put the heat mat on and see how that works and hopefully we can reduce our plastic waste by growing like this. So guys I hope you liked my first video. I know that it's probably a little bit rough and ready. I'm hoping that we will start producing more videos through the summer and through our growing season. I'm no, by no means an expert on anything but I just want to share with you the things that we try, the things that we like to do and the things that don't really work for us um, just so that you don't have to make those same mistakes at home. So if you like it, leave us a comment and maybe give us some suggestions about other videos you'd like to see and thanks for watching!